Arabi from Bangladesh. You are getting younger, Allah <laughs> Mabarak. <laughs> so uh, you think? <laughs> this is, I think, true, Sheikh. Uh, Sheikh, my question is, I saw a lot of your videos about people who are shy and introvert. But my question is, uh, there are some people who are introverted, but they're not shy. Like, uh, I am introverted, but I'm free to talk about my deen to anyone who comes to me, or sometimes I do some dawa stuff with my brothers. So being introverted, like uh, staying alone and trying to be alone, is it uh, disliked in Islam? I just want to know. <coughs> The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, a believer who mixes with others and tolerates their abuse is better than a believer who does not mix with others and does not tolerate their abuse. So being an introvert is not something that is praised in Islam. Because if you have a person who's an introvert, and does not mix with people and not, does not give them da'wah and does not go out of his way to teach people and to enforce virtue and righteousness and f uh, forbid uh, evil and vice. While person B does all of that, who's greater in reward? Of course, uh, 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 person B. So you have to train yourself and practice. Now, I'm not saying that you have to <clears throat> be a social person and be out of your home 24 hours seven days a week for that you have to balance like the prophet used to balance you don't have to speak all the time like a public speaker whenever you are give speeches and da'wah etc no the prophet used to be والسلام, silent most of the time but when he spoke gyms came out of his mouth so you should do the same and inshallah you'll be on the right track. And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website and you will find counseling sessions and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi'ithnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all bi'ithnillah.